And Aviv Glass continues our team coverage from the East Mountains. As you can see on the map right here, the most severe driving in the state right now is on I-40 through the mountains. Genevieve, you said the uh, drive out there was a little dicey. Definitely dicey, Todd. In my a little over a year and a half here is the worst I've seen for sure. There were semis pulled over on the sides. There were cars pulled over in the middle. So you really just need to emphasize driving slow this morning and being prepared if you do need to stop in these conditions. Now, here's a couple of tips. Leave some room between you and the car ahead, especially those larger cars, trucks, semis or snow plows. They can create dense clouds of blowing snow. So do stay at least 50 feet behind them. And a reminder, don't use cruise control in these conditions because it makes regaining control of the car difficult if you do slide. And as I mentioned before, definitely important to have snacks, uh, some drinks, some blankets in the car in case you do need to pull over. And I want to show you the snow that we're seeing out here this morning so you can get the extent of what we're dealing with. At least a foot. My hand just won't stop going down there. It is about a foot of snow up here this morning. And as cars continue to head out on their morning commute, I can see they're taking it slow. So please continue to do that and be safe on the roads out there this morning. Live into Harris. Woo, I'm Genevieve Glass, KOAT Action 7 News. Hey, combine the snow with the wind. That's a bad scene out there. Genevieve, thank you so much for the report. Traffic Watch 7 right now. You're going to notice on the right hand side of your screen where Genevieve was there near Cedar Crest. I-40 red and yellow indicators. It's just slow going out there in the East Mountains. In the metro, mostly green real-time indicators, but a couple of crashes to tell you about. We've got this crash at 98th Street and Volcano Road. Not seeing a lot of slowdowns associated with that at this point, but we'll keep an eye on it for you. Uh, the other crash is near that spot. This is eastbound I-40. It's between Trisco Vista and 98th Street. Again, traffic loads pretty light there on the west side at this point, so no slowdowns on the interstate. Five drive times if you cross on the river, these are good. Alameda Coors to I-25 at six minutes. Paseo's five minutes. Uh, Rio Bravo, same stretch. Coors to I-25 uh, down to seven minutes now. Also, keeping a close eye on other roads outside of the metro. So back to that NM Roads map on a, a grander scale here. More red indicators popping up in the East Mountains around Mountain Air and Encino. Uh, Taos just moved to the red. That's severe driving conditions. Yellow or difficult driving, you got that in Gallup, Farmington, Santa Fe. Really, much of northern New Mexico at this point.